All right, a quick how to publicize your blog posts out to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter if you're connected to those. Uh, so here we are on the front of the blog itself. Uh, you can tell you're logged in by the gray bar at the top. We'll go ahead and go to the dashboard. And then you've already connected it to um, Facebook and LinkedIn. We can see that by going to settings and then sharing. So they're connected here. If you want to connect Twitter in the future, it's right there. So we'll go ahead and go to posts and the most recent post. Uh, so here's the content here that auto published. And then underneath published, it says publicize. And then we have an edit and a settings. Um, under edit, we have the custom message, which takes the title. So we got this right here. And then a short link. Um, the short link is just a smaller version of this link right here. Um, even though it isn't very long. Um, to edit this, uh, we would click edit, we can change the post title. Um, to view it, we can view it here. The post title should be the uh, title here. It, it auto-populates it for you, um, unless we've gone and made changes. And then to get a short link like this uh, before it publishes, you can click get short link, and it shows it to you right here. All right, uh, so the last thing to do is um, we'll hide this. We'll go to settings. Whoops. Under edit, uh, we would check these two boxes, but since it's already been published, uh, those options aren't available. So if we go to add new, I'll we'll go to edit, and there, uh, they should be auto checked right out of the gate. And then the custom message will be auto filled with the title of your blog post, and then the short link once we have one. So we'll do a test post just to show you. Test post here. And then the permalink, which is the long link, it shows your domain and then the name, test post here. And we'll just put some body content in. We'll save the draft. I'll go back down here to edit. And here we have the title, test post here. And then the short link is auto-generated. Uh, so that's typically how it works. If you have any further questions, please let us know, um, either in the comments or through email. Thanks.